Yes, sure. And we have to stop because of COVID, so let's hope we are reinstalling our cooperation. Okay. Oh. Uh, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, I just uh, just heard the, the previous speaker uh, about the research. I'm, I'm not a researcher today. I'm a man who is applying the, the, the technologies. And, and uh, just uh, Bohush and, uh, just told me that you would like to say, uh, know something. How do we use the AI today for virtual production? Jen, are you familiar with virtual production itself? Do you know the, the term which is used? Jen, do you know, you know, for example, what is it that the Hollywood strike is about? It's quite quite an important thing because we were part of that, and and also the that I was working on on a series for Apple TV Plus uh, called uh, Foundation, the, 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 which is completely uh, captured in Czech Republic. And the second series and third series is is, uh, is captured here. And we use a lot of AI things in in that that series, and and it was serious strike because the many actors just. Uh, they didn't didn't play the many roles which were rendered in in the in the series and and they so the question was was who pay them and if we use just head or just body then different the actors then how's it in modern way so, and it happened because of the COVID of course because. Uh, at the, during the COVID, we have to change the, the many things. We started to produce the advanced uh, uh, virtual production studios for, for corporate clients because uh, they didn't want to be like a standard team, uh, Microsoft team uh, presenting. They, they tried to be like a, something extra, some conferences, everything. And we used the standard technologies which were uh, known for TV for, <laughs> for online uh, uh, private uh, meetings and we start to do everything like uh, separately. It costs uh, to enormous increase of of uh, technologies that 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 were known for years. It was like uh, decades that we know how to do this. But uh, but for example, we we didn't think at, uh, at that time that it will happen like this. That that we will send over. Uh, that that uh, eight mobile phones with a uh, special setup for these these speakers to their home and kitchens and including Madeleine Albright and and they start to be the part of serious conference uh, which will uh, broadcast it for hundreds of thousands of people and uh, it expands and uh, it become like a standard presentation of my my colleague who's just presenting it this way and it looks really really nice and uh, uh, this technology was known, but uh, it was now used, like or more, probably overused also. <laughs> but anyway, then also the capturing of standard movies were changed. This is the standard scene of, of the studio. We have uh, four studios here. We have FZG, we have Evoke, we have Prague Studios, all these studios using very similar technologies that, that uh, nobody as uh, uh, taking uh, the, the standard movies just just outdoor uh, in that time of uh, of uh, the covid we were separated that like like uh, some crew was capturing on Car Karlstein another crew was capturing in the woods uh, another uh, and without without actors at all and we we just mound that together in virtual production in that environment and it was the COVID time, but it accelerates a lot of technologies, and now it's it's used again and more and more uh, like this. Uh, you know, in that today, uh, even the the very standard documentary movies are captured in this way because you are independent to weather, you are independent to to many other other uh, locations and to prob you have to just immerse your your actors by by some special environment uh, one thing which is also important the previsualization just changed a lot but usually this is the board of of the client 
uh, just uh, which is just trying to, to agree about uh, uh, new scene, uh, new location and new capture site. It's, it's quite different than than before COVID. To be honest, that usually they have to go somewhere. They they have to uh, observe that. They have to agree. Now you interact with them in, in that environment. And usually, if you know that Masaryczka here, that that uh, big uh, currently building, it was uh, all the time built in that environment, but, but separately. First time, they, we send over the glasses to the homes of, of architects and decision makers, and we were in, in the virtual production, virtual uh, environment, and when it was possible, we came to that virtual environment and we really uh, try to uh, like um, confirm all these uh, build, all these interiors and exteriors before it, it started. And, and it's very common today. Um, I'm just starting a new project and, and we are in the same environment and talking about uh, the new, new things. And uh, AI, what's AI inside of that? You definitely have to know, because you are creative guys, that big change came with uh, uh, the technology chef, the meta-human, that if you know that MetaHuman, it's a real-time generated uh, cryptographic uh, movement, we use them like a virtual actors. That's, that's really something what happened. And this technology was known for 20 years, but nobody just thought that it will be possible to do that in real time. And we have a real-time virtual actors like this, and you can agree it, they, they look very believable, but we can change the age, we can change the, the look uh, very easily, and we can change, change that in real time during the process. Can, can we capture, capture the actor and we change his view and completely uh, change a character and uh, we use their body, their, their face, but sometimes the body is, uh, is taken from different person and uh, we just combine them together. Jen, for for uh, that foundation series, there are many scenes were generated like this because the, the battle scenes when when these uh, the guys were were fighting each other, then it was really uh, taken like this. Jen, we use the motion capture technology, of course, and uh, this is something was possible. It was during the COVID time. This guy just made it. And uh, you have just uh, literally that small, small room, and you can do many uh, motion capture presentations like this. And another thing which is important uh, that it used to be just research paper that we, the part of the uh, uh, of the uh, performance capture process is the so-called relighting that we have to. If you know the concept called lumigraph. Ten, ten, it's, a, it's a principle which is currently in your mobile. It's, it's, a, it's a funny thing that you know the Luma AI. Do you use that? Can you use it? <laughs> yes, it's a funny thing. So you will have that captures in your mobile so if you had just iPhone. You, should, you have to have just iPhone, nothing else. That two and a half D sensor in the iPhone will generate that for you. And uh, it, it is capturing the different angles of flight and, and the, the perception. And finally, you can get that, that environment or the guy and place that anywhere. Because you are really let, lit by the environment properly. It used to be just research paper about that. Uh, Paul Debebeck made it in Hollywood movies, but uh, now it's available. Uh, it's a strange thing that it's available in your mobile. And when a uh, few years ago somebody just told me uh, it will be on the mobile, I said, no, it's nothing, it, it's nonsense, but it, it is not nonsense at all. Uh, I don't have. Hmm, no, no, it's not visible. Uh, because she has, she has a mobile phone in front of her face. We use mobile phone in production. It's <laughs> crazy thing. It used to be like a very special device and it's, uh, it's completely different. Chen, uh, we have that, and in that time, it's, it's not just about, just about the COVID, it's about the whole, whole uh, technology which was uh, speeding up the process a lot, that you, you don't have to wait for, uh, for recalibration of your 
seen for hours. The, you do just a few uh, crazy exercises uh, in your room and finally you have a calibrate this exercises. If somebody just asks you to do that, just be aware about that because uh, it means that he will capture all your visms, that the, the special, special uh, movement signature uh, which will be used <laughs> in the future. And um, to be honest, the, uh, the, I don't know if it is, if we can call that safety, but uh, you have to now read more carefully the contracts because uh, if, the, if somebody just said, we will capture you like this, <laughs> It's probably okay that if he is using probably 20 cameras and many strange LEDs and so on and scanning your face, you should say, um, I will think about this <laughs> because uh, in this kind you will really change everything. This is this is part of uh, the body um, body replacement that we we uh, have uh, many. <laughs> for example, the uh, the fashion shows we just made currently uh, for for one uh, one big brand was uh, completely uh, captured differently in in uh, cloth 3D marvelous designer and the uh, uh, photorealistic uh, uh, meta-humans and uh, the, the movement were captured by some famous uh, uh, photo models but the faces were completely changed uh, by, by somebody else. So, uh, it's much more easier now because it's, if you have a few, you have to have at least four synchronous cameras. The technology which is called Thea can do the motion capture for you Without, without having very special ex environment. You have to have just four cameras looking to, to, the, uh, to the environment and it will finally uh, do the human motion uh, using AI. Really, it, it uh, just recognized your body. Um, you, even this guy, which was not a part of the management, <laughs> was, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's funny. I, it really works. Uh, we use that, it's called, this technology called TIA. And uh, we have that installed here for sport uh, profiling here in, in Prague. And it's surprising how easy is that. It's just many cameras, as much cameras as you have, that, that's, uh, it's better. But you process a lot of data, to be honest. Yeah, it means that you, uh, it's not real time. Uh, we have different technology for it, um, but you can use that outdoors, even swimming pool. You can use that for swimming. It's, it's, it's incredible and uh, for very difficult movement. Uh, and we, we have some technologies which is in the hospital about, uh, which is about uh, the precision of movement for sub millimeters. But uh, uh, for many of these cases, you don't need it. Then, so if you have more cameras, you are nearly everywhere. The AI can help you in this so this uh, movement. It's good. It's definitely good. <laughs> Funny thing about these uh, serious uh, um, the foundation. There was really a guy who who captured Avatar, the old old Avatar, 2009. In that time, uh, and and they used on the field. They had. Uh, 16 cameramen captured the whole scenes, the whole scenario, uh, just for for understanding what what is po what is possible. It's on, and now they reused few of these synchronous camera camera uh, captures to recover real motion in, on this on the field, and they found that it's it's now possible to use it and retime the scenes and so on. Crazy idea, but it's probably uh, possible. Another thing which is important for us is uh, that we use the generate, uh, generic AI. Uh, this is something what you probably know that AI is not just generating the very nice pictures using mix up of uh, many, many other uh, <laughs> known pictures. It's about also about the generation of whole scenarios, so whole scenes. This is city generator. If you, uh, this is one of the city generator. This is for free in Blender. That's a crazy word. We changed all the licensing for Maya by Blender and guys who are using the Blender. We sa saved a lot of money, and it works very well. Surprising. It's a crazy word. Really, you are limited by by imagination today. Nothing else. 
And this is a crazy thing. Uh, this is uh, made by a scientist because it used to be open source software and many scientists just contribute to this. And the, the, this is just, they captured facades of, of the towns like Paris, Prague, uh, Italian towns and so on. And they, they modeled them by special generic uh, techni technology. And finally, you will say to, to Blender, okay, the shape of my, my town is probably that shape. The main road is like this. Uh, please, just blend, it, blend partially Italian, Prague, and Ven Venetian style. It generates your, your town. It really looks like this. It, it looks, and if you are not done enough, then you can, you can say, okay, let's grow some crazy, crazy trees there and so on. These trees are not that good. We don't use them, but, uh, but uh, for, for some games, it's probably good. But towns are very good. And uh, another technology is just similar to this is generating of any kind of, uh, this is the city generator, just generated by AI, really all these signs and everything are generated by, by AI. You have to be careful probably <laughs> about these signs, but, uh, but uh, if you replace few of them, probably it's, it's definitely less work. If you do this for a um, YouTube video or some corporate presentation, nobody cares. Can, can we save a lot of money and uh, also time, of course, because it's, it's about just, just machine time. We generate that, we test that, and we can use that. And this town, for example, was a similar one, was used in virtual production. Now there is some horror movie captured in Prague. Then we have partially uh, captured pra Prague when, when these, uh, these guys are running in Prague. Everything was captured in, during the, uh, the, it was six months ago. And uh, we just uh, shoot everything uh, right now because we can just do that in virtual production. And we missed some parts of the, the curse that because he has to go left, right, and we had just, just straight, <laughs> straight captures. Then finally, we just use the AI and it, it uh, makes the curvatures and so on. Then, then, um, and nobody just noticed. Even the, even the director just, uh, he said, okay, I'll, I know this place. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Jen, it's, it's a funny thing. It's about this relighting. It's very important because uh, you unhide your production if you don't have that, that relighting and you are not merged in, with this environment. But uh, when you are a part of that, it's much, much easier. And this is something which was made again by, by, virtual, uh, by AI. This is an original, original light field capture, and this is the real light of the light field. So light field, it's abstraction that you don't have just, just pixels, but everything is, is generated by rays. And you can recognize the rays from different locations, and you can mix them uh, together. And that's Luma AI, what it's, it is doing. It's, uh, it's uh, exactly, uh, and I <laughs> Luma AI is still, uh, still uh, uh, for free. I don't understand that model, but uh, it's for free. And uh, you have a really powerful tool for 3D scanning of everything where you need. I will choose something, for example, so this one. Uh, this is 3D model, real time compressed by AI and neural network. This is called NERF technology. And everything what you see is, is just light field uh, bundled together. And uh, you can test that at home. And uh, it has really genius way. You know, this is not seen by AI. This is not seen by that neural network. It looks like this. But uh, you can export even that model. You can export that even to that uh, Unreal Engine, and it, it looks awesome. Uh, we use that for capturing of people, and uh, th this is something what, what will surprise you, definitely, how easy is it, and uh, what, what you can do with this. Definitely test tested. It. It's a future. Yep.
exactly. This is just a combination of something that's already known, but, but it's just in real time. That's something that surprised even me. I'm, I'm in business for 30 years, and I, I, at the beginning, we were talking about this real-time performance, but now I'm really, really completely uh, shocked by this, because uh, uh, even the youngsters came to the, the, uh, uh, to, to the uh, capture side, and they said, oh, it's normal. I used that yesterday in my mobile phone. I said, sorry. Ten years ago, I had to spend a lot of time to, to do the 3D scanning. Yeah. You mean, uh, like, <laughs> if it is legal or something? <laughs> yeah, these questions, I don't want to talk about that because it's for hours of discussions. But it's definitely, it's, it's, a, it's a strange word. You know? uh, it's a strange word. You can, I, I will get your hat, but I don't like your th clothes, and I will change that, and so on. And, and finally, uh, I, I will change the environment because these, uh, these guys are not here, and I will put them. Uh, uh, it's it's not not a big problem, and uh, to be honest, I'm I'm partially teaching for for uh, in the, uh, th there is a special activity called AR for children, and it's about the basic schools and mid middle schools, and I'm responsible on creative technology and AI for for mid schools, and these young people are using that like okay motion capture it means just strange suit for me okay i will do that and uh, about how, how about uh, this mobile phone i have one no problem uh, and they they blended that together and uh, we start with a group of, of 15 people divided into three three different groups and they are already doing escape rooms uh, in virtual reality uh, in photorealistic matter in unreal I was like, mm, they started one year ago. What will, what will be next? <laughs> Don't know. Then, then finally, uh, it completely changed the approach to, to, uh, to, to I will just overview the technology. It's, it's just, you need more cameras, okay? Cameras looks, looks uh, strange, but it's, it's, it's not that expensive. You have to have more cameras. You have to have, uh, uh, Virtual reality helps us not just fully immersion uh, of, of, of the environment, but also validation, we do the interaction, and so on. Then there are quite few installations already here that virtual productions in Czech Republic, and uh, uh, there are in, in schools, there are, there are like uh, 22 schools in Czech Republic uh, using the virtual production. They don't have just screen screen, they have also motion capture, face capturing, and everything what you need for, for a virtual production. So virtual production today, it looks like this. It's usually 16, 12 meter uh, diameter LED screen. It's usually used 8K, uh, and uh, on the roof there is lit screen. It's, it's used basically for, for relighting. And uh, this is the reality. And, uh, we are shooting everything here. Uh, the crazy thing about today's technology is that this, this, there is a panoramic uh, 3D scanning, and you have to, you can really parallelly do many things together. And, and for example, we are doing just some advertisement when there are different, uh, different edits uh, and, uh, and shots. Um, one, one guy is currently on the mountain, second is somewhere in Malaysia. And they are sending over optic cables, or this, uh, called Cinegrid, uh, the footage to us in real time, and we are testing their capture in real time if it is okay, and they a, continue with this location, and uh, uh, they will send us next day the footage, and we will use that. The grading process, the correction of the the colors are, is also done in real time. It's, there is a, a 16, um, 16 uh, uh, GPU farms. Uh, each uh, farm has uh, three and a half uh, thousand of processors, and they they just tune the the uh, the cloud uh, uh, for this. Gen gen we 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 have some environment which can be completely virtual or partially virtual, and we have some, some motion capture guys. She is not, usually not in, 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 on the field, of course. And the, you can overlay the, uh, the actors, and you can do uh, many things quite differently. This is documentary about some, <laughs> some forest. This forest, you see, 
it's it's artificial generated forest. It's it's not not captured at all. It looks really good, and we had that documentary about mountains for for people from some uh, nature nature uh, agency, which are really experts to nature, and we captured that in that environment. We send that for validation, and he said, yeah, it was okay, it was captured in our mountains, good, perfect. How did you find the weather? I said, mm, you found that. Uh, <laughs> and it means that, that even these experts, they just didn't understand these leaves were completely artificial, because they are partially out, uh, unfocused, and, and they, they didn't see the detail. And, uh, but you, <laughs> you see that, that real tree just, just tried to, just push them <laughs> that this real, but uh, it's just uh, you know fake, nothing else. Uh, yeah, that's that's another thing. Uh, security in general, how to just uh, unhide these these fakes on the internet? It, it will be very difficult in the future. I can say that, that even the experts will will have a problems to to do that. And we had some some requests from Moscow about these things, and we just reject that. And uh, uh, you know that's that's uh, uh, another example that you can move really fast to to something. And then technically, it's not that big problem that you have visualization in real time with huge render farm, and you have. You can use even green screen because green screen, you can change the LED, LED screen to green screen easily, but it's wasting of money, of course. And uh, uh, you just combine all these technologies to, together. And it completely changed the, the way of shooting because in traditional way, it's not traditional way, it's the old way was the same, but, but at the beginning of shooting, it was exactly the time of virtual production, but but uh, we just changed the approach. That means that somebody just made a story. Somebody came to the location. It was what it. Uh, there was live action. Somebody, somebody in VFX is just doing crazy, crazy uh, anchor points or some some marks for tracking. Uh, do uh, VFX and do some iteration, and finally it took uh, some time to do a mo movie. But now it's, it's changing the process. That we spent a lot of time on preparation stage. It means that, that uh, somebody just made a story. We made the virtual, virtual environment, partially capturing, partially 3D scanning, partially modeling, generating, and so on. We do the validation and staging in virtual reality with the client and with the virtual actors. That it's, it is used also in in that uh, series, uh, sci-fi series, that many of these actors were in pre-visualization automated by these beta humans. And, and they, they were really fighting each other, virtually talking. And we, we were just virtual cameramen in that virtual production. And finally, when real <laughs> actors just came, <laughs> we, we just start shooting with them. And if they were ill, then we still shooting. <clears throat> That's the problem. And, and also, uh, then, then on the stage, we have so-called in-camera effects, and everything is done in-camera already. And it means that, that we have that old approach that we see what we are capturing. It's not just green screening and just hugging of some green green guys or something. Which I, I made quite a few child stories, the film's child stories, and that actors just, just mm, it was green, green screen, something uh, strange, and she had to cry that he's dying. And, uh, sorry. And, uh, but, but now it's, it's completely a different story. Uh, because the LED screen also helps the actors to, to understand what, what they are acting for, because it, it was completely hidden for them. And we can show them immediately what we captured. Chen, Chen uh, this stage, uh, I c when I made my first uh, VFX uh, corporation on some child story uh, for cinema, it was like a 48 days of shooting uh, and uh, something like a six months of post-production and another three months to, to mastering. Uh, 
last year I made the, the child story for a German, German uh, client. Uh, it's called uh, it's Frog King or something like that. It's a Lotzika Frog King. We just made everything like in preparation stage, like a parallel teams well captured everything environment in one week. And completely without 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 uh, um, any actors, they invite very famous German uh, German actors for one week. When we captured everything in in seven days, and after seven days, it took one month to do the editing and mastering, and it was immediately kept uh, broadcasted, and it was in in the cinema. It was completely crazy word and I have probably some video from this it was uh, yes frog <laughs> a frog company so, uh, you can see you can see just environment uh, there is the tracking cameras uh, this is uh, there are two cameras here they are in some forest uh, this is usually made by real but you can change that and there is a dialogue and, and uh, yeah, everything is synchronized, and, and we do that in real life. It's also crazy that it's in real time. Jen, Jen, when actor, when director just said, okay, I need more fog, I need more flying creatures, I need to change the tree because I don't like it. Jen, Jen we change that in real time. It's sometimes dangerous because they say, okay, can you just make it more moon? Okay. No. Let's change to daily daily scene. Okay, uh, no bad. <laughs> and we we play God sometimes, and uh, it's it's a funny thing that it's it's really technology technology behind that. It's it's difficult to to tune that. Definitely, we spend a lot of time by this during the COVID. It was six months of hard work to do all everything synchronous, like motion capture real-time uh, machines, uh, LEDs, everything had to be s like a frame synced. It, it's a lot of work. But finally, when you've done that, when you have an environment, you, you can really unveil, like unleash your the imagination. Even us, we just made a few sci-fi <laughs> shots for us, and um, we spent a lot of time at this. Uh, music. Videos are easy because uh, you know you have some nice dancer. This is the real singer uh, for the clip, but uh, he didn't want to play. Uh, that n he just tried to. Uh, we have everything in real time. You see that, uh, and uh, and the funny thing that this this uh, dancer just made uh, also the girl, not just just uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Something wrong. It's hanged. Sorry, never happened to me. Mm -hmm. French thing, but it's it's the better of computer, I think. Hmm. Froze. I have never have frozen computer. Sorry, if you know how to do that. It's my it's my uh, new thing, but the <laughs> it's usually a hard research. Yeah. Do you know how to do that? I don't know. I've never, I have never restarted <laughs> this thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Probably AI just came to us. Android software. technology is a Luma AI I show you. This is captured from, from, from the video and it's, it's like this all the time. Chen, 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 you don't have to worry to just use it and you, if, if you, even if you don't have the green screen, it's another crazy thing that you don't have to have even a green screen it makes these, these things. And uh, you have to just have the cameras, that's, that's all. And uh, also, we use that sometimes for very cheap videos. And uh, for example, these these people here, it's called Meta. It's not. It's called uh, artificial 
uh, artificial people. And uh, we just made the visualization for the client and he said, I would like to have a people there. I say, it's, it's a lot of money, you are crazy. But finally, we found some, some uh, these artificial people and uh, you just say, okay, this is a corridor, this is the elevator, this is elevator, it's interested. This is in the elevator, this is a reception desk. And you can choose the pre-trained uh, models of office people. And they, they use the elevator, they, they do some, some uh, crazy, uh, ah, again, it's Hank, no. Oh, oh. what's happening? To my computer, I like him. <laughs> oh, he, strange. I don't like it. Mm, okay. But it's, it's playing music. Mm, 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 mm. I will reinstall that, I will promise. Okay, so oh, I'm sorry. What? Well? Yeah, I think everything is on cloud and it's okay. Oh, mm -hmm. ah, sorry. But, but it's a good thing that you will have uh, uh, the lunch sooner. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 one, one thing uh, is happening. Um, okay, Gen 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 that, but you probably understand the story. The story is about the, the, you don't have to be worried about using the, these new technologies, which are known uh, for, for years, but now they are avail available. Uh, it's, it's about cloud, cloud computing or so, because cloud computing now really accelerates a lot of uh, processes. And uh, I just remember that because uh, 25 years ago, I, I was part of Center of Machine Perception. My, my background is AI, surprisingly. I, I came to the, to the uh, CG business, to computer graphics, and I start to make uh, user interfaces which are so-called intelligent, then, then speed up the process of, of coloring, modeling, and so on. And in that time, nobody just understand, understood what, what I'm going to do. <laughs> I said, okay, I was sad. Then I stopped to do this, and I changed that to, to make the games, because games, they use AI inside, and I made some AI agents and many, many things related to this. And after 20 years, I, I just see the resurrections of these, those, these technologies, and now it, it's really used that in the same way I was going to, to use that. It means that really uh, user interfaces now are now faster, much, much easier to, uh, it, uh, it predicts your, your uh, steps, uh, it automates, smooth your, your movements, and now it captures intelligently your, uh, your uh, requests. Jen, Jen, how we are, we are using AI today? Mainly for speeding up the process. In the pre-production, today you have guys really special opportunity. If you use a meta-humans, did I tell you that meta-humans are for free? They are for free. Yeah, they are, they, they, if you have a project for more than one million uh, USD, then you have to pay 10% of, of that, otherwise it's for free. The most of the school projects are, are in that scope, hopefully. And, uh, uh, and uh, ten, ten, you can use the meta-humans that I have, I have some examples of my students' work. Um, and they are using like, like a screwdriver now. Use that like like a knife, like, like standard thing. Okay, I need somebody sitting here. Why not? I have one. And uh, and uh, also that acting. It's it's a funny thing, but <laughs> it's sad to say that. But it's it's related to to mobile phone. But uh, probably somebody just know that if you know if you have that uh, mobile phone, just use uh, face link. You know. It's a full motion capture of my, my, it's fully fitted to anything, even to you, sorry for that. Uh, this here. With, with your glasses. Crazy word. In real time, it's transferring to that meta-human, and, and that's it. And it's really that easy. Uh, it's, it's really scary, really scary. You can just install that, you can transfer that from mobile phone, change your, 
imagination to now the students are just do the previsualization of something. Which I'm, I was dreaming about this such a thing. Then can I immediately just ask them to do the sci-fi movie some, some, something. They really started to do this and it looks that at the end of the term they will have some. I cannot imagine that. And it's because many things were automated. They were related to AI in the way of uh, machine learning. Most of these movements were really like a pre-trained. Yeah, there, there are some smoothing in that, uh, that processes. But for previsualization, even Hollywood movie perfect tool, for, for speeding up the, the motion signatures perfect tool, for generation of some crazy towns, uh, nature, especially trees, bushes, and so on, perfect tool. Again, the tree generator for free, city generator for free, crazy word. Uh, uh, you know, even th there is a new tool for, for uh, hairdressing. It's very nice, to be honest. Uh, uh, which is experimenting with us. And, and it, it using also the, the movement of hairs. It was usually, this was like, uh, like, like dances, they were very rigid. No, it's not, not right now. Even in real time, again. And uh, uh, ten, ten, uh, it's not like a future, it's today. Ten, you should definitely get, dive in, and because many youngsters are already in, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, these tools are available. I don't know how long does it take to have that for free. Uh, definitely, I'm, I'm also worried about deep fakes uh, and how, how good is it today. It will be definitely not recognizable. And uh, I work with uh, Avast company here in Czech Republic just for some PRs. And they are working very hard on that, even on recognition of that uh, deep fakes, uh, they, because they, we just gave them uh, the footage which we did the, in virtual production. They, they are analyzing that, that we are trying to, to find what, uh, what's fake or what's not fake. And uh, also, there are many, many AI approaches for finding uh, the telephone numbers and, and uh, uh, Wi-Fi root routers and uh, so on. They use all these things together uh, and uh, it's a big issue even for them. It's, it's, it's so big, a big uh, speed up of the technology that uh, they cannot uh, catch that. And they, they would like to be one step in advance, but. It's, it's really uh, impossible. So for computer graphics, it's definitely a good tool. Uh, I'm still not sure what does it mean for, uh, for creative process, because sometimes uh, people, uh, you know that, that when the DALI and uh, stable diffusion and all these tools were released, then uh, many concept artists lost the jobs nearly immediately. So all these production people, they decided to, they, the, to project the ideas using these tools. It means that they made the storyboards by themselves. And uh, it's, it's reality. And I think uh, it's sad, but probably it will not be changed. Because it's easy, even for you, you have some idea and you go to somebody and he will draw some, some, some uh, like a frames for you to show the scenes, or you can do that by yourself in in a computer, for probably for free, well, not for free, for free your time. Then you will probably choose the, your time. Then uh, even if it is not that perfect, and today we can copy the styles, you can be consistent and so on. But again, it's. It's trained by something what was already done. And we are just worried about some flattening of creation, that, that we will have some, something which will not have that, uh, that uh, it will have a common sense which will be visible. And I, I hope in some kind of uh, devaluation of that, it is that then in, uh, let's say, one or two years, we recognize that everything is so, uh, so similar that uh, again, these creative people with original sense of perception and uh, graphic art will, will be in charge again. 
and uh, also it surprised even the open AI that we thought that creative process is, is very unique and it's, uh, it's for everybody completely unique things. But uh, they found that there is a common sense what's, what uh, people like and what they don't like. It means that when they trained that much uh, the pictures, then now the creativity of AI with that common sense looks like averaging average perception of many uh, uh, people from audience. And they perceive that like, like nice, and he knows that. <laughs> and these peaks from, from that average are not that important for us. That's the surprising result of that, uh, that uh, AI approaches. And I hope that one time we will not be just, let's say, white or, or black, or we will, we will not uh, perceive just something nice. But uh, we will see. We are at the beginning. Now we are using that uh, for free. And we don't know. It will be. It will have probably some some business model behind, and we are still worried to use that like a like a main tool for everything. Because one day somebody said, "Okay, now let's pay for for something," and we will be surprised. So we still have the two lines, like AI base and the traditional way. That's it. Okay, that's it for me. Sorry for pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, very specific question. Uh, so, you said like Google AI is basically free. So, for, if I use uh, uh, yeah. objects generated by Google AI to make a game, for example, and this game becomes a hit, a blockbuster, uh, is there like any fee I have to pay for it? Or, or not yet. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't understand then why, but it's not yet. Uh, probably they will one at a time need something, I don't know. Uh, it, it's, uh, it was originally, um, the technology behind that is that nerve technology, that's neural uh, network fitting. It's again, it's something which is not new. 25 years ago, we used that for so-called, um, uh, uh, for recognition of, of 3D object in industry. It's, it's just really Lumigraph. If you find the Lumigraph uh, technology, you will see that it's, it's uh, 1996. Uh, it was made by by people about compu computational photography, and and but it ne it needed a lot of computation power. It needed preci precision in the cameras. Uh, it needed many things, like laboratory things. Uh, but now, surprisingly.